evolution has come to a halt. We've stopped growing, chasing, aspiring. We now play in the mud with gadgets and gizmos from decades ago. Is this really all Nerf is? I can't take it! Please, dear Lord, let us break free from our cage and live free! Oh. Is this uh, fun for you guys? Uh, yeah. Uh, don't you think it could be uh, more funner, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> but I do know. These poor children do not know what they're missing. I dreamed of a world where blasters at the stores were more than single shot plunger blasters. And I was right. Now they're single shot plunger blasters that look like they're from Fortnite. Well, hello. <laughs> we're not gonna get any victory royales with a measly rate of fire at one of these stupid single shots. So, first things first, we need some hardware that can handle a high rate of fire. Looks like we can buy hardware kits for this little 30 dart per second blaster called the Lepis. And since we're going for a high rate of fire, we also need a high capacity solution for the blaster. A 10 dart magazine won't work here. Maybe something like a dart belt will. We have to figure out the actual feeding mechanism for the belt. And the first thing that comes to mind is a mechanism like tank treads to pull the belt along. This thing is called a belt drive. So we need to design two things, the belt and the drive, also called a sprocket. And first we'll start with the belt. We know the size of the half darts. We can design the belts in a way that they print linked together using a ball and socket joint and every one out of 10 we can connect using a dart as a hinge. Then we can create the sprocket from the negative space of a circle created by our belt links. We can turn the sprocket with this high torque motor. Since we're creating a belt drive, we need to make sure the belt is actually resting correctly on the sprocket. Otherwise, the sprocket won't actually drive the belt. We'll add a tensioner plate to the feed tray cover above the belt so that the belt will ride through the sprocket's teeth and not bounce up and down. We'll make sure the feed tray cover locks in place using these catch buttons that let you slam it down like in a video game. Now that the belt is being driven correctly, we can move on to getting the darts out of the belt themselves. We'll use a solenoid from out of darts to do this. We'll fire this solenoid by taking advantage of the rotating sprocket and having it physically press a 21 amp switch that will send current to the solenoid when the sprocket has pulled the belt into the firing position. We'll also throw two switches into the grip where one of them sends power to the flywheels and the other sends power to the sprocket motor. We'll make it a two-stage trigger so that we can activate both of these switches with one trigger pull. On top of this, we'll get some custom PCBs made so we won't have to wire this whole setup together by hand. And for storing the belt, we'll just go with a classic box mag. We'll throw a hinge and some latches on top of this lid, pop a funnel on one side, and now we've got a box mag that'll hold more than 100 rounds. Now all that's left is making this thing look good. We'll add a cosmetic barrel with some fake rifling. Put a barrel shroud around it with some space for picatinny. We're also gonna add an adapter that allows us to put third party stocks on the blaster. And now we're ready to rumble. Check this out. 10 darts per second. Yeah, you can have it, sure. You got it? Oh, nice. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Another happy customer. It's the buy tech guarantee. Ah, <sighs> aren't children just little bundles of joy? Makes me so happy when I'm able to help out the youth of tomorrow. Hello? What the hell do you think this is giving this to kids? Are you freaking kidding me? My daughter has welts all over her. My freaking son is a maniac. They're running all around town like nuts. Are you kidding me, you moron? I understand now. It's the parents who've kept Nerf from evolving. Those stupid, stupid, stupid parents wouldn't know fun if it blasted them in the face. Or maybe they will. If I covertly distribute these blasters around town, parents won't know who to bring them back to, and they'll have to learn to live with this new way of life forever. Let's
that's cool All these parents act a fool Pull the trigger, it just shoots It just shoots Take it to the movies or the mall You're gonna wanna show it off Belfair Blaster does it all Pull the trigger, watch it fall A dark cloud has formed over sunny South Florida today. An unknown assailant has been distributing high-powered foam dart blasters to children and letting them run loose. Untold damage has been done to local communities as police scramble to find who's behind this heinous ploy. We're with Olivia Martinez live on the scene. Reporting live from Jupiter, Florida, an unknown source has been supplying children with high-powered Nerf guns, causing absolute havoc within the community. We are on the scene to find out more. Thank you, Bye Jack, for giving, for giving us, us these, these guns. guns. We love how hard they shoot. And also, thank you for my this focus medication to help me pass my test at school. Thank you for this night. News is just coming in. A viewer of the broadcast recognized the name of who those children were referring to. Apparently, he's a local man who does business as of Busy Young Exec, owner and CEO of Biotech. We'll be passing along this information to the police, so hopefully they can put a stop to this madness. Yo! What the heck? You're trying to... Where'd they even get that picture of me? I mean... Stop filming! Stop filming! We got a 1012 here on North Rosemary. Uh, obscured license plate. Making contact with suspect right now. 10-4, be advised. We've got a bird on the way. Roll down your window. Turn the music down. You please turn the music down, sir. You know, you officer. You know why I pulled you over? Uh, let me guess. Cause I drive a nice car. You have construction paper taped over your license tag. It's not. Uh, you don't understand what that's for. Like, what is that? What is that over there? That's, I'm. That's just, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car. Yes, sir. It's just. It's like a toy. It's like a thing for. A right, toy. I'm gonna need you to open the trunk. Would you, sir? I will, but you're not gonna like what's in here. All right, all right. You gotta put no, your hands behind hey, your back. It's a toy. Put it's your hands toy. behind your back, no, sir. Me. Put the no, weapon no, down. No, put the no, weapon no, down no, now. No, 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 no. All right. Hands behind your back. Get over. Roll over. Hands behind your back. Uh, you're under arrest. Sold on an officer. I'm Don't not get ready. up. I'm not Stop resisting. resisting. I'm not Stop resisting. resisting. I'm not resisting. Stop. Afternoon, 
tragic incidents happening all across South Florida spurred by high-powered Nerf weaponry delivered by Mr. BYE into the hands of unsuspecting children have finally been brought to a close. The perpetrator has been apprehended, and throughout the course of the investigation, Mr. BYE has come to an agreement with the prosecutor's office. He will be delivering an apology now. I know what you want. I've committed a crime. I was a criminal. And I always will have been one. And I'm sorry. And to make up for my wrongdoings, and also to avoid jail time, I will be releasing the files for this blaster for free online. The link is in the details below. In addition to this, the contraband blasters that were confiscated during my arrest will be randomly given to subscribers who comment. I also have to make clear that this blaster is not for kids. And I don't know how anyone got that idea. I mean, it's not. Anyways, I'm sorry about all of the problems that were caused because of my blasters and people not understanding how to use them properly and safely. I mean, just imagine how that makes me feel. And I want to deal with this honestly and openly. And that starts with examining my own behavior. Thank you.